Hey scholars, it's Miss Abbott and our class pet Dainty. Right now we're in Meadowbrook Park and we're going on a hike. Well, it's more of a walk because we're just walking on the sidewalk. But we've already found some cool wildlife that we can't wait to show you. So let's go ahead and let's get going on our walk. Hey scholars, look what we just found in our hike. Can you see him hiding there in the brush? Deers are herbivores, which means they only eat plants, just like this deer is doing right now. They don't usually like to come out when there's people around. So we're using our quiet feet and our quiet voices to observe it or to watch it. There's a lot of pretty flowers out here. That when you come, you can take a look at it, take a picture of it, and then you can look it up and see what kind of flowers that you found. And something that the Nature Park District does is they have something called a bio blitz. And a bio blitz is where you can go out in your backyard or to a park and you can take pictures of the kinds of animals that you see or the plants that you see. And then all you have to do is upload it on an app or on a website and you can see what the name of that plant or animal is. And you can also upload it into a database which allows other people to see what kind of plants and animals that you've seen. So that's something that really cool that you could try this summer. All you have to do is go to the Park District website and it should have more information about it on there. But you can see some pretty purple flowers, some pretty white flowers. And then I'm gonna go show you some place that's really special. Okay, here's the next item for you to try to find in the park. When you see the sculpture, what does it make you think of? You can find a lot of sculptures in Meadowbrook Park, and sometimes it's interesting to just sit and think, what do you think the sculptor was trying to say? What do you think the message is behind the sculpture? And when I see this one, it reminds me of teaching, and it reminds me of kids learning. So I want to know what you think about it. Okay, I found another deer going through the grass out here. He's really hard to see because he's back in there. But if you look carefully, you'll be able to see the light shining off of his brownish body. Oh, I see a head. You see the head? It just went back down. There he is. Okay, so usually when you're on a hike, you have to be very careful what plants you touch because some of them might be poison ivy. And poison ivy can cause irritation on your skin. It can make your skin angry. And it can be difficult to get rid of. But there is one plant that I love to touch and it's called lamb's ear. Lamb's ear is called that because it's very, very soft and it kind of is like a green lamb ear, like the, a baby sheep. But it's so soft, it feels like you're petting an animal's ear. Maybe like petting a cat's ear. Because lamb's ear is so soft, it has actually been used as a kind of toilet paper. And to help reduce the swelling from things like insect stings. So the next time you're over in this park, I want you to come into the flower garden. It's all over. You can see it all over the place. It's got purple flowers on it, and it's got, got these light green, very soft leaves. So check that out the next time you're here, okay? The herb garden is another cool place that you can find inside Meadowbrook Park. And inside they have lots of different kinds of herbs. And you can even smell, they smell just like the herbs you would find in your kitchen. So let's come over here and I'll show you a couple. We have leeks. Leeks are a kind of plant that we can eat, but we don't want to eat the ones in this garden. We have chives. If you smell it, it kind of smells like the kind of um, herbs that or spices that you would put on your food. It smells like a kitchen in here. 
And then we have some other things. There's stuff from the celery family. We have something from the mint family. And if you smell these plants, it just smells really good. More chives. We've got a curry plant, some parsley. So this is another place we want to use our noses, not our hands, because we don't want to mess up the plants. We don't want to affect the garden in a bad way. But you can use your nose to sniff out some of these plants and try to figure out if it's something that you've smelled before. Little butterfly. Alrighty. More plants. And then there's one more thing I want to show you in here. There's a sundial right in the middle. And a sundial works kind of like a clock. You can see that there's these characters on here, X, I, and V. Those are Roman numerals. Those are like ancient numbers. And when the shadow hits a certain point, you can tell what time it is on this very ancient clock. It's very cool. It only works by the sun. Our clocks work by batteries and other things. Some are solar powered, but this clock actually works using the sun and the shadow to represent time. So that's something else you should check out while you're here. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed our walk today in the park and I'll see you next time for our next activity. Bye.